Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the Explosive One, TNT, the Iano, M-I-D-H-T. What up, dude? <laughs> Don't get I you know, I just woke up and I drank a Bankster Berry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can drink a Bankster Berry. Oh my god, we're, we're so cool with energy drinks. We were bartering. <laughs> we were. I was we... like, you want, I was like, you want to trade me a cotton candy for a Bankster Berry? You're like Bankster Berry, dog. I was like the limited edition is. <laughs> Like you were pogs. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Down Podcast. We love you and love everything about you in your life. Unless you're a terrible person or something like that. No, I don't give a fuck about anything you do. <laughs> I just want you to live. And listen? Uh, yeah, I mean, Jonas, come on. I want him to live. You want him to live? The listening is implicit. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, oh the pizza's here. Man, that was quick. All right, Jonas, keep it going. Keep yeah, it going. It's fine, so, it's fine, uh, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, but thank you so much for joining us. You yeah. Know, whether you're joining us uh, live on, uh, not live, on our YouTube channel or Crazy Town Media, or if you are joining us on uh, Spotify, iTunes, listening to us and our sultry tones being right down into your ear canals and tickling your tips. This dude is also on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Did you have some stuff for us today? You got some fire? Uh, I mean, I got some stuff we can definitely get into. Um, So... Uh, apparently, Jonas, the world's most expensive sheep was sold just recently. Sheep as in uh, wool? Pulling the wool over the eyes. Yes, as in sheep. Now, okay. this sheep was a male sheep, and it was sold for... How, how, how much would you pay for a sheep, Jonas? Would you pay $1,000 for a sheep? I wouldn't pay anything. Jonas, come on. <laughs> I know the kind of stuff you're into. <laughs> how much did you pay for a sheep? <laughs> No, that's between me and Baba. So I don't know how much a normal sheep goes for because I ain't a farmer. But this particular sheep, Jonas, went for four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, for one sheep. Yeah. Now, when you see this thing, Jonas, it, I like I can't show you pictures. You guys will have to look it up yourself. But when you see a picture of the sheep, he is built like a fucking pit bull. Like, this thing has muscles in it that are just absolutely ridiculous. Roids, dude? You would swear to God they were just, like, inject, injecting the sheep with, with steroids. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. And then, like, even beyond that, the sheep has the largest nuts I've ever seen on a sheep. Like, you just... How you, many you, sheep nuts have you seen? I mean, you know, I figure, like, in, like, storybooks and stuff. <laughs> storybooks? Yeah, sheep storybooks. Tell me that story. And I count them to go to sleep sometimes. Oh, yeah, dude, the nutscapes. Look, you just, look, I'm just telling you right now is that I don't know how big normal sheep nuts are, but these are some abnormally large nuts, and they're just, like, it's it's crazy. Maybe his prowess is on... on uh... And that's the thing is that whoever bought the sheep is obviously looking just to breed them. Um, because, like I said, it's a male they sheep. They want mountable sheep. Yeah, this male sheep can just, like, imp- he can keep going. He can impregnate. Um, he can. Wow. Yeah, I mean, dude. <laughs> this sheep will steal your girl. It's Aww. a good-looking sheep. Aww. He's a handsome sheep. Was y'all wooled, say- was y'all wooled up? He was, he was he, like, he was nicely sheared, too. It looked like a glamour shot. Like, the sheep had just, like, he'd been working in the gym all fucking winter. And he was just like, yo, ladies, oh. gonna be at the beach. And he was just like, I just He got went on that c- almond and blueberry diet before the bodybuilding competition. Yep, got himself a fresh shear right before. <laughs> <laughs> he got a fade looking all tight. <laughs> It was Lined crazy. up real nice. <laughs> but $450,000 for a sheep, if you're ever thinking about getting into the farming business. I would pay $4,000 for a sheep. It definitely ain't on my top of the list. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a... Uh, that's a lot, man. That is not a um, way I want to live my life at all. <laughs> I just don't want to live my life like that. <laughs> now, I don't know how much other animals go for either, but I, I know that cows aren't cheap. Chicken. Yeah, dude, like, I don't know of any animals a six-figure animal, well, other than that, boy, right there. Mm. Six figures for an animal, dude? Like, race horses, maybe? Yeah, horses, for Elephants, sure. Elephants, probably, Elephants dude. ain't cheap. Tigers ain't, well, no, tigers, no. 
I saw Tiger King, so I know they're relatively. Yeah, inexpensive. you know that dude named six figures for shit. They shut down his whole zoo, the whole zoo. Oh uh, yeah, because they didn't have a storage facility for their food. That sounds. They right. abuse animals there. What can you say, Jonas? What can you say? When it, when you live on top, you live like you live for the thrill, man. What can you say? Hello, cool cats and kittens. Dude, when you have a haircut like that, I thought I would think <laughs> haircut that, like what? I, like Joe Joe Tiger, dude. <laughs> I would think that like <laughs> that you couldn't do anything wrong. <laughs> like Joe Tiger. <laughs> what's Tony, his, Tony the Tiger? What's cousin. his name? <laughs> what was his name? Tiger Joe. Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic. Ah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Tiger. Yeah, dude. So okay. Have you ever had to have your car towed, man? Wow, yes. Yeah. No, yes, no, yes. Yeah, I've had to have my car towed a couple yes. times. Battery yes. died, wheel fell off, you know, stuff like that. Parked in a red zone. Yeah, yeah, I've had I've had been towed against my will, <laughs> absolutely. Have you really? That sucks, dude. Yeah, dude. That's oh, worst. oh, that was a good story. I was like 17 years old. I went to downtown Cleveland mm -hmm. to go watch some of our friends' bands. At a, at a concert, and the the no parking sign was literally 15 feet up the pole it, in the tow zone. I parked there, and I, there, was, there was two people with me. None of the three of us saw the fucking sign. 15 feet. It was like, like we went out afterwards, like, where's my fucking car? And we looked well, up, yeah. and we're like, oh, there it is. It was so high up, dude. No one would ever seen it. I was 17. I had to call my father at 1 o'clock in the morning. Wow. I had to walk. To a place I could find a phone. Wow. Because I'm a minor and say, hey, dad, I'm stranded in Cleveland. My car's impounded. Will you drive an hour each way to come pick me up? And by the way, yeah. there's three of us and you have an S10 pickup. Yeah. And that's before Uber times, right? Oh, yeah. There that was, was no Uber. There oh, was yeah, dude. He, was, uh, he wasn't happy. <laughs> but he understood. It wasn't my fault. I didn't get my car towed on purpose. Like, you know, I didn't blatantly park somewhere I knew I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, that sucked. But, no. So, in uh, I think this happened in Canada. I couldn't find out where it was. I will oh. say Florida. Canada, Florida. Florida. Yeah, Canada, Florida. There was two cars street racing. Two couple cool kids, some <laughs> some biker boys, some Fast and the Furious friends. Jocking for position. Dude, they're out there vroom, vrooming around, dude. Mm -hmm. I know how to get they yeah. got caught by the cops. That's how it happens. Cops say, we're going to impound your mother effing cars for seven days, teach you a lesson. Were they nice cars? Uh, probably. They usually all hopped up, looked like somebody <laughs> threw a million dollars at it. Hopped got up. a Honda Civic that they paid eight grand for and put $750,000 into the car. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. I, I hate it when people do that to Hondas. <laughs> you, I do. They're just super customizable, dude. No. It's like <laughs> They are not. <laughs> yeah, dude. So... Tow Take your big spoiler off of your Honda. So, tow truck guy shows up, and he seems a little off. What do you mean he's a little off? He seems a little off. What's so, the wrong? cop just says, yeah, you want to blow in this breathalyzer? Tow truck guy was drunk. <laughs> so, needless to say, they impounded the motherfucking tow truck, had to call out another tow truck wow. to tow the tow truck and the other two cars, and they impounded the, uh, the tow truck for 30 days. So, not only did he Ooh. loot... Yeah, he got. Uh, he ain't gonna be able to work for thirty days. He ain't gonna be able to work because he lost his job. It probably wasn't even his truck. He was just probably, oh, he probably just work for the tow company. Mm, yeah, dude. Nah, I mean, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the tow company probably shut down. They ain't get no income for a week, month. You get a, you get a DUI driving somebody else's truck. So, what do you say that me and you buy a tow truck and we go repossess vehicles? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do that yeah we could be we could make new content for the channel right dude and that will be we'll like like they had that fake show where people would, it was like recreations i can't remember what the name of the the show was where they had the the tow truck guys and it was like recreations of real events but we could be like you can like hold the camera i'll hook up like the thing and you can like because if they come out and they see us towing their car let shit try to get real they'll be scared of us uh, Jonas, we live in texas they <laughs> shoot us dead and, first episode spoiler and, alert yeah, and i'm black so you know that's <laughs> just saying it's like you gotta take certain things into consideration <laughs> i'm just, i'm not even saying it's like it's gonna be a pro why are you laughing it's, just, it's just, <laughs> you're just like and i'm black <laughs> I'm just saying dude it's like you know 
<laughs> You're out there repossessing cars in the middle of the night. Yeah, I don't know if I'm if I'm prepared to be called those words. That's oh just, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I'm just saying it's a chance. I'm not saying it's I, gonna happen. But people uh, yeah. are happy when they're getting their car towed. I'm perfectly fine with us doing our own lizard lick. Lizard lick. Yeah, it was a lizard lick towing. It was a show. Oh, that's the show. It was the fake one. Was I was a lizard lick? The yeah, fake li- one? lizard lick was based on true events. Oh, so that's why everyone was wiling out like crazy. Yeah, okay, be- because it was all the true events. Yeah, it would be like lizard lick. Yeah, I'm not, we're not gonna be lizard lick. <laughs> no, dude, we'll be I'm we'll not be licking lizards. We'll be uh, what, Jonas? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> no, dude, <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be tow truck guys. No, dude. You can't set it up. Towtruckguys.com. Not... Tow truck guys. That's inventive. <laughs> I'm the most creative man on the planet. <laughs> Two buds and a truck. Two <laughs> truck buds. Truck buds. <laughs> no, that's good. And like, and they have like a GoPro on the dash, and we'll just be like in between, like, like, man, we gotta go get this guy's Honda Civic. <laughs> Are you ready for this one, buddy? And you're like, oh, bro, I'm ready for anything with you. Do you want some here? Do you want some Kool-Aid and some some snack cakes? I'm like, oh, my God, you brought my favorite flavor. <laughs> and we're repossessing your car. Right. And I'm like, I'm driving. Can you feed it to me? Because I have to keep both hands on the no. wheel. <laughs> Truck buds. <laughs> Da-da-da. And lo and behold, first episode, we get shot. <laughs> truck buds. I'd shoot myself if I was a part of truck buds. <laughs> Aw, poor truck buds. <laughs> yeah, dude. Not a bad idea, though. Not a bad idea. I figure, like, uh, getting into repossessing is pretty dangerous. Kind of like, uh, like serving people. For, oh, yeah. For, yeah. like, uh, court cases and shit, delivering yeah. subpoenas and shit. I think that's a little less dangerous because, like, they can just lie to you and tell you that they're not them. Yeah, because you're not arresting them; you're just like giving them the court papers. Yeah, but people still get mad about that shit. Like, oh yeah. Hey, are you uh, John Smith? J- John Smith Romero. Yeah, I'm John Smith Romero. You've been served. People want to fight, dude. <laughs> people want to fight. Like, are you fucking serious? Well, that's a lot of times why they get the constable to do that. I mean, yeah, but there's like there's a uh, there's private people who do that. I would as well. do that. Which- I'd serve people. I you think mind ruining people's lives, Jones? Okay? I mean, they ruined their own life. Wow. I mean, I'm just giving them the paper that go. says, like, you got to come go. to court. Yeah, but you got to sleep at night. <laughs> Knowing that I gave someone a paperwork that when they fucked something up that they had to go be accountable, I would relish every minute of that. Wow. Like, oh, you fucked up and now you got to be accountable for your actions? Oh, sucks to be you. You shouldn't have done stupid shit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Know. No, it's fine, Jonas. That's fine. I mean, I agree to some extent. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ruining anybody's life. They ruin their own life. That's true. That's true. Throw and ruin their live shit at me. I just wanted, I was just testing your resolve and yeah, conviction. I, I would have been like, oh, you know what? I would take those papers and just throw them in the garbage and just pretend they weren't home. <laughs> John Smith Marrero wasn't there. Meanwhile, we're hanging out. He's trying to get me to smoke crack with him. Wow. I'm like, John Smith Romero. <laughs> Wow, is this what John Smith is into? <laughs> Dude, when I used to like I used to kind of do mini repo stuff because I worked for the rent own place and we'd oh, have to, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we'd have to go and like some of the places we went weren't the nicest neighborhoods. <laughs> like we'd roll up and there'd be just be like, I don't know, fifteen people chilling on the porch, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just like, Oh, we're coming to take their TV away. Like they're not gonna be happy about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> like no. I was just like no, nah, they ain't here. Yeah, I wouldn't like to get in a repo, to be honest, because yeah, it, it just seems like they're just going to displace that anger and aggression. Oh, yeah. But, dude, here was my thing. I would just be like, hey, is John here? No, he ain't here. And like, I could be, I could know for a thousand percent for sure that you are John, and I would just be <laughs> like, all right, man, tell him, tell him we stopped by. Like, That's all you can do. I mean, like, dude, it ain't my ish. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you like, can't be like, you're a liar. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, let me see your I ID. Get, my, I, I cannot tell you how many times I said to somebody, I ain't getting shot over a fucking TV. <laughs> I ain't getting shot over a couch. I ain't getting shot over a motherfucking computer. I ain't getting shot over a motherfucking bed. I. But I'm sure you met some resistance at some point. Oh, absolutely. Okay. There were stories that I've heard of people getting their guns pulled on them and shit. Over like a 32-inch TV. Like, 
that and then, was but a, then that there's was a also, big screen back then. Then there's the also shit. I did get to do one one time where like we filed court papers on the person, and then we we went to their house with a locksmith and a sheriff, and they locksmith picked their locks, and we got to go in and take the shit out their house because the locksmith picked the locks because wow. the court ordered that we could get it back. It was like a full bedroom set. Wow. Like uh, and lo- the only the only the, the, like they came home while the locksmith was picking their lock, so they they like went in and took all their clothes out of the dresser and stuff. But if not, we'd have had would have had to like dump their dresser drawers out on the floor or like really? whatever yeah dude i don't understand why anybody would rent a bedroom, bedroom for- set right or- i get like i get like if you want a mattress maybe like renting to own a mattress if you can't buy one outright but why do you need an armoire <laughs> you do like a whole bedroom you set don't, you don't need like that. if i couldn't afford a bed i sure as fuck can't afford a bedroom set not to rent Right, like even, but even to own, like even if you could, if I couldn't get the credit to get a full bedroom set, I would be like, at bare minimum, I need a mattress. Yeah, and let's go from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Like I can work on getting a dresser. I can get a plastic (laughs) drawer. No, I need the whole set, dude. And then I want to pay pay like two hundred some dollars a month for a bedroom set. And then they have to, they end up paying twice the price. That is oh, actually absolutely. worth. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, dude. And like, well, and it was just terrible because like you show up people's house like, oh, yeah, hey, man, your payments doing. I'll just take that shit. And you're like, oh, dude, I don't want to bring your couches out. And like, Come on, no, nah, dude. Like, I don't want, no. Nah. You would seriously be hoping that they would just be resistant. Like, right, yeah, like, yeah, like, no, you can't take that shit. I'm like, oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I guess I can't take that shit. Yeah, dude. It was like, and then people want shit to get in their house that like ain't going to fit. They're like, why won't that, why won't that, they would order these, those giant, like, 26 cubic foot double door refrigerators, and they live in a house that's like a thousand square foot, and they'd be like, why can't you get it in the door? I'm like, your house is smaller than the refrigerator. Like, what the fuck, man? (laughs) Everyone wants a sectional couch. Them bitches don't fit in very many living rooms. Everybody wants their couch to be an L shape for some reason. And there's like eight living rooms in the entire city those things fit in. (laughs) <laughs> right. Anyway, I couldn't even imagine trying to get one of those in yeah, here. Yeah, I learned dude. how to, dude. I learned how to maneuver some shit working there. I'm like Tetris with moving furniture now. Skill I wish I didn't have. <laughs> what you got? What do I got? You got anything else? I, I got mean, more. I got tons of stuff, Jonas. We can talk about shit. Cool. Uh, do you want to talk about the fact that Japanese monkey busters, Jonas? Let's <laughs> go. Japanese monkey. It sounds busting. like a bad children's cartoon it, it, show. It sounds like one, but it's some real life shit. What so is it? Apparently, there is a bureau in Japanese. I don't even know if they call them bureaus out there, but uh, where these old ladies, or there's like a group of ladies who are older, and they have a garden that they tend to, and they grow like uh, produce, fruits, vegetables, stuff, stuff along that line. Okay. Um, well, apparently in this area of Japan, there's a breed of monkey or species of monkey okay. that was terrorizing these poor elderly ladies. Like spider monkeys just coming through and just like ripping shit up? And this started like eating their gardens. So they'd find the monkeys in their gardens every day just you like know, destroying their crops. I could see wild monkeys r- ravaging a garden. Yes. I could see wild monkeys being a fucking problem no matter what <laughs> size they are, to be honest. <laughs> Yep. This is crazy. <laughs> right. Like, raccoons are bad, and they don't have, like, thumbs and long arms. And, like, yeah. <laughs> brains. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. You know, and it's, it's it's nuts because, like, in Florida, it was, like, the geckos. Like, they were all over the place. Like, I hated them, and, like, Paul Meadows were all over the place, too, and I hated those. I'd rather have those than monkeys. <laughs> Do you, <laughs> you imagine if they're, like, little, like, 12-inch monkeys running around just, like, getting into shit? Get out of here! That would be <laughs> fucking frightening right? because they show their teeth and can growl and shit yeah. i would be afraid like those things can get violent and they're like... smart <laughs> yeah yeah they're like not dumb and they're mobile they're yeah. basically like little demon squirrels like <laughs> super strong demon squirrels <laughs> anyways <laughs> but... what did they do to get rid of these monkeys all right so these ladies decided to get themselves some airsoft guns Oh my god, like BB guns? Yeah, and it's crazy because like, I, you know, you think like in Japan, other countries don't have the same like issues with guns that we do. Right. But the guns that these ladies are posing for, the pictures are absolutely amazing. You gotta look it up yourself, Japanese monkey buster ladies. <laughs> Um, so they're like Ghostbusters, but they're like little <laughs> ladies with BB guns. So it's like a lady with like a... With like a like, like the Daisy pump act? Like, it's like, like, like a pump. an AR. <laughs> like, 
like an AR airsoft gun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like these elderly ladies posing, and apparently they've been handling the monkey issues, and the monkey assaults have not stopped, but they have decreased. That blows my mind. <laughs> Jonas, I'm not about shooting animals either. But, like, they're non-lethal. <laughs> yes, but even still, it's just like... It's, <laughs> they're, like, pissing them off, and I'm not going to come back and pee in their windows. That's what I was thinking, dude. Like, what if the monkeys rise up? <laughs> <laughs> Be like the singularity, dude. They become, <laughs> the they become self-aware. Over. They take over the world. Yeah, all of a sudden they show up with ARs. Oh, bananas become our currency, <laughs> dude. That'd be great. They're cheap. <laughs> what? No. Why it's, not? Because bananas would become our currency. They become more expensive. Oh, and they so rot have, too. Yeah. They'd be like if our money, like you put it in your wallet and it disintegrated. Yo, that would suck. You have to spend the money quick. Yeah. That would suck. Jones. Yeah, dude. I do spend my money quick. No, I don't. I'm cheap. You are a cheapskate. Yeah, dude. It's I fine. try to be. What else you got, sir? Uh, I got a couple long boys. No, I don't want any of those. Um, I'll talk about this. I just want to talk about this real quick. Um, because we always talk about how fucked up Russia and China are. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not taking. No, uh, you. You can have that. When do I talk about Russia and China? Okay. Always. Every episode, I'm like, stop talking about China, TNT. You make us sound like xenophobes. You can be the xenophobe, <laughs> all right? China. <laughs> no, dude. Uh, I just want to talk about that guy who who's opposed to Putin, uh, Navalny. Uh, Navalny, and uh, he Not got familiar. He's like he's a guy who has been uh, speaking out against Putin for quite a quite a while, and they they keep fucking with him. They like froze his assets. They do things like that. Yeah, he was fucking poisoned at a. He was poisoned at an airport. He was he was. He was at an airport drinking tea, and he was flying somewhere, and all of a sudden, he blacked out. They took him to a Russian hospital, went into a coma. The doctors wouldn't, like, people from Germany flew, like, doctors from Germany flew out because they know Russia yeah. has a little bit of an MO about poisoning, throwing people out windows and shit. All those people that do something, they fall out of a window and get poisoned. Um, they wouldn't let him see him for a few days. And what they thought was it was a quick acting poison that would be out of his system. And they let him take him like two days later and they flew him to Germany and he did have poison in his system. And like he didn't die, he's in a coma still, but he's they don't think he's gonna die. But he's like, yeah, he's just been like he was like the main oppositional political figure against uh Putin. Is it is it amazing to you how many like countries are run by like just like Shady ass motherfuckers. Shady people who have shady process. Like, look, I understand that we live in America and like you, we get so accustomed to our way of life and the way that our government handles us, which is basically through lies. Well, I mean, we have like like to keep people and politicizing out of it. We have like the shadiest president we've ever had right now. <laughs> One of how is that keeping? I'm not talking. I'm not. I'm not trying to like bring up a conversation. But I mean, like, like him and Nixon. Like Nixon got <laughs> actually got caught doing stuff and got. Like, but I mean, like, in, like people that, probably that, think that about us right now. That's that's kind of what I'm getting at. Is that we get used to the fact that our government does shady shit too. Oh, on yeah. on on par with this. And with, like, the shit that, like... Uh, I mean, we had Guantanamo Bay where we just tortured people we said were terrorists. Yeah, like I said, we, we're pulling the same shit, but we lie about it. I mean, Putin lied, too. He said he didn't poison nobody. I mean, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, I guess we don't... Maybe <laughs> Everyone we, just knows he did that shit. All right, so what, what, am I, what am I trying to say, then? Because, like, if I think of, like, uh, Saudi Arabia, like, we know the type of shit they do. They'll invite you up to a hotel room, and that'll be the last fucking. Oh yeah, they, I mean, they hire people seen. to kill a journalist in exactly in an embassy of another country. Yeah, exactly. I just feel like at least America, like America, is, does its dirt, but it's good at hiding it. You know? Yeah. I, well, I think it's probably because, like, well, up until somewhat recently, we were we were fairly respected. We were elite. You know what I mean? Like we we were elite. Well, see, here's the deal. Up until recently, we were we were a leader. And a trendsetter, and people look to us to do things. So people tend to sweep things under the rug of those countries. When you're when you're like mm. a when you're a pariah to the world's organization stuff, like like Russia can be and China can be because they like they have opposite views of like the world view. Yeah, I feel, I kind of just feel like they're just more blatant about it. Like Xi Jinping don't give a fuck. 
Nope. He's like, yo, the internet, y'all don't get that. Uh, by the way, don't talk, communist. don't talk to anybody. Yeah, but still, I mean, Putin's does communist mean that Putin, you don't have to give a fuck about appearances? Putin plays off that they're democratic. Yeah. They ain't democratic. <laughs> but at least he's trying to play it off. <laughs> this is my see, I don't even know what I'm arguing at this point. I'm like, could you at least lie better? <laughs> you know? Right. Could, I could feel you lie you, better, I feel but you, no. Yeah. I well, guess it's kinda of, I guess should I be more should I be happy that these countries are at least on the forefront with their bullshit? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, we killed a journalist. So what? I just wish that nobody would do bullshit. Well, Jonas, that's not gonna that's happen. That's snowflakes way of life. Like, I, I, I don't know if there's really any countries out there. Like, yeah, I think like Switzerland, maybe. But they I feel got like some, they, they yeah. got skeletons, bro. That's yeah. why they let everybody put their money there. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they're all like, hey, Whoa. world, we'll give you a service. Just shh. Yeah, <laughs> you make a good point, man. <laughs> like no one got a problem with Switzerland. They ain't never been in a war. They never done that because you know why? Because they let everybody put their fucking money there. And we already know Australia's hell. Oh yeah, UK dude. is already fucked. They've been around for too long not to be fucked. Yep. They're tainted exactly. So dude. every so the world's tainted, Jonas. Oh yeah, the entire world. We is, go is, colonize Antarctica. No, the next step is the moon. Antarctica is not Mars. the best. Re it's, it's free real estate, but it's not the best. We're yeah, going for the moon next. So I don't know, but that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Mars. Uh, we do this twice a week, and we like it. <laughs> very, very well said. <laughs> for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh,